Alright, so welcome to the third video in the series. In the last video, we did some time remapping to make the animation look smoother, and honestly, I put a lot more keyframes in the original, but what can I say? I got lazy. So today, we're going to fix this problem we have, which is at the end of this video, it cuts to black right here. Bam. That's too soon. And, you know, if we eventually want to make this, we're going to need him holding up his gun for a longer amount of time. So to do that, you can see it cuts to black right after this last keyframe. So there's a simple solution to this. We'll just drag in that last image of him holding up his gun. And I'll put it on top of this composition right here after the end of it. So we have him holding up his gun. So if we play this, you know, we've got some free space to work. But there is a little thing I like to do. And it's him recoiling a little bit. So when he shoots, you'll notice right about here he kind of recoils a little bit. And I just did that by adding a few more images that preceded him holding up his gun after this. So I'm going to play this and get a feel for when I want to drop those images. So, blast, about right here, I think. So I'll grab in the next image, so 9601 in this case, and I'll put it right there. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can make sure that they are happening really fast. And then I'll grab in the next image, put it right there. Oops, I accidentally dragged it under, so I'll just drag it on top. And maybe one more. 9603. Yeah, so that looks cool. So I'll play this, check it out. And that looks like enough time for him to shoot. So I kind of want the whole video to end right here. So what I'll do is zoom out, and then I'll grab this little yellow thing which is our work area end, and I'll drag it, and I'll hold shift so that it snaps to our time marker. Then go composition, trim comp to work area. So now our entire video is just what we had trimmed it to just now. So if we play this, blast, bam, it ends. And that looks pretty cool. 